Ames Room. The Ames Room. Optical illusion is a phenomenon that creates the impression that people or objects in a room change their size and shape depending on their location. It is an extremely interesting effect that is used in experiments with visual perspective and causes paradoxical impressions. The Ames Room has a specific geometry. It appears to be rectangular, but is actually trapezoidal, with one wall larger than the other. One corner of the room is closer to the viewer than the other. This heterogeneity in space allows for the illusion of perspective, which makes objects in the room appear to be resized. After image. The optical illusion of afterimage, also known as the photopositive effect, is a phenomenon where a visual impression remains in the mind after the stimulus source has ceased to affect the eyes. This illusion is caused by the fact that the nervous system continues to process signals from the light-sensitive cells in the eyes after the light has stopped coming in. The best-known form of afterimage is color-based afterimage. For example, if you look at a bright red object for a few seconds and then quickly look at a white or neutral background, you may see a green or blue reflection where the red object used to be. Fraser Spiral The Fraser Spiral Optical Illusion is an illusion that gives the impression that spiral lines are depicted in a picture, although in fact they are just concentric rings. This illusion was named after Nigel Fraser, who introduced it in 1908. The main reason why we perceive these lines as spiraling is because of their constructive interaction with the context. The rings are made up of black and white stripes that gradually change their widths, which creates the impression of a spiral. However, if you look closely, you can see that the lines are actually just coming out of the center of the circle. Silencing the optical illusion of silencing is a phenomenon where one or more colors appear less saturated or even disappear against a certain color in the eyes of the observer. This illusion is based on the interaction of colors and our vision. The most common example of this illusion is the gray scale illusion. Imagine a circle with a uniform distribution of small black dots on a white background. If you add a moving gray blob to this circle of dots, it appears that the colors of the dots fade or are muted, and you see more gray than the color of the dots. Rubens Vaz, the ruby vase illusion, also known as the figure-figure illusion, is one of the most famous visual illusions. It was first described by the Danish psychologist Edgar Rubin in 1915. The illusion is that two different objects or shapes can be perceived in a two-dimensional image, which change depending on how the image is viewed. Usually, when you look at an illustration, you can see either a vase or the faces of two people looking at each other. The eyes looking at the vase can be perceived as the outline of the vase, and the outline of the vase can create the faces of the two people. Muller Liar the Muller Lyre illusion is another famous optical illusion that was first described in 1889 by German psychologist Franz Muller Lyre. This illusion consists in distorting the perception of the length of lines, depending on the context. In the Muller Lyre image, there are two horizontal lines, one with arrows pointing to the outside and the other to the inside. The line with the outer arrows appears to be shorter than the line with the inner arrows although they are actually the same length. Hermann Grid The hermann ruttel illusion, more commonly known as the Hermann illusion, is a visual illusion that was first described by German psychologists Ludwig Hermann and Ernst Ruttel in 1870. This illusion consists in the fact that when you look at a grid of black squares on a white background, it seems that gray spots appear in several places at the intersection of the grid lines. The grid consists of black squares arranged in rows and columns, with narrow white spaces between the squares. When you look at the intersections of these gaps, it appears that gray spots or dots appear on them. However, when you focus on a specific spot, the spots disappear. Color Dove The color dove illusion is an interesting optical illusion that makes it appear as if colored spots change colors when you focus your eyes on a specific element of the image. At first glance, it may seem like a simple black and white image of a dove. However, when you look at this image and focus your eyes on the dove for a while and then move your gaze to the white area, you may notice that the dove turns colors such as blue or pink. 
This illusion is created by the interaction of visual elements in your brain. Kanisha. The Kinesi illusion, sometimes known as the Kinesi contour illusion, is a well-known visual illusion that was first described by Italian psychologist Gaivano Kinesi in 1955. This illusion is that when we perceive simple geometric shapes, invisible contours or shapes can give the impression of objects that do not actually exist. The classic version of the Kinesa illusion features two large circles that intersect each other, as well as several small wheels that are placed along the intersection. Wundt. Wundt's illusion, also known as the figure group illusion, is a visual illusion first described by the German psychologist Wilhelm Wundt in 1862. The illusion is that when a series of straight vertical lines are intersected by horizontal lines, they appear uneven or enlarged at the intersections. In practice, when you look at the image, it looks as if some of the vertical lines crossing the horizontal lines look longer or shorter than others, even though they are all actually the same length. This gives the impression of distorting the perception of line length. Zollner The Zollner illusion is a visual illusion that was first described by German astronomer and psychologist Carl Zollner in the 1860s. This illusion is that when parallel lines intersect with shorter diagonal lines, they appear to be offset or non-parallel. In a visual representation that is a grid with parallel lines intersected by short diagonal lines, it appears that the parallel lines are not parallel but offset. This can be taken as an indication that the brain perceives the angular relationships between the lines, not just their actual orientation. Forced perspective. The forced perspective illusion is a technique in illusions used to create the impression that objects are different sizes or distances from each other, when in fact they are the same distance from each other. This technique is used in photography, painting, cinema, as well as in theme parks and architecture. Ponzo The Ponzo illusion is a visual illusion that was first described by Italian psychologist Mario Ponzo in 1913. This illusion is that when two identical objects are placed at different distances from each other on parallel lines of perspective, they appear to be different in size. A typical example of Ponzo's illusion is two horizontal lines intersected by vertical lines, and one of the lines is closer to the vertical lines than the other. Pagendorf The Pagendorf illusion is a visual illusion that was first described by the German psychologist Christoph Pagendorf in 1860. This illusion is that when a horizontal line intersects crossed diagonal lines at an angle, they appear to be out of alignment. Hybrid image. The hybrid image illusion is an interesting visual effect that occurs when images are viewed at different distances or using different viewing methods.